The Petronas Towers in Kuala Lumpur are architectural marvels. But did you know they were once the tallest buildings in the world? How do they sway in the wind and what secrets lie within? Pause discover the surprises of the stunning sky bridge, bustling Surya KLCC shopping mall and more. How can you secure your chance to witness the breathtaking cityscape from this architectural wonder and what safety measures are in place for emergencies? Rising like urban giants in the heart of Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, the Petronas Towers, also fondly called the KLCC Twin Towers, are a stunning pair of super tall skyscrapers. Picture two colossal structures, each boasting 88 floors and soaring to a dizzying height of 1,483 feet, making them true icons of architectural marvel. For six years, from 1998 to 2004, they proudly wore the crown of the world's tallest buildings, casting their shadow over the bustling cityscape. However, their reign was eventually challenged when the Taipei 101 claimed the title in 2004, standing even taller. Love this kind of mega structures? Smash that subscribe button and build your knowledge with mega structures unveiled. What makes these towers so remarkable? How did the people of Kuala Lumpur feel about their towering presence? Well, stay tuned to get your answers. Rising high above Kuala Lumpur, the Petronas Towers stand as the world's tallest pair of twin skyscrapers, gracing Malaysia's skyline until 2019, when the Exchange 106 took the lead. These towers, together with the Kuala Lumpur Tower and Merdeka 118, are integral to the city's identity, visible from various vantage points throughout Kuala Lumpur. Crafted with architectural ingenuity, the towers employ a tube in tube. Design pioneered by the visionary architect Fazlur Rahman Khan, a common choice for constructing towering structures. Comprising 88 floors primarily made of reinforced concrete, their exteriors feature a stunning blend of steel and glass, echoing the intricate patterns found in Islamic art, a tribute to Malaysia's Muslim heritage. What's particularly fascinating is how the tower's cross-section draws inspiration from the Rub El Hizb, enriched with circular elements tailored to accommodate office spaces reminiscent of the Qutub Minar's lower section. How did the incorporation of Islamic motifs influence the cultural significance of these modern marvels? Well, that's a secret. The Petronas Towers, envisioned by Argentine-American architect César Pelli, were designed to be a 21st century symbol for Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Their creation began in January 1992 and involved meticulous planning and rigorous testing to ensure they could withstand the forces of wind and structure. Construction was no small feat. Starting in March 1993 on the grounds of the former Selangor Turf Club. To create space for the towers, a massive excavation saw 500 truckloads of earth removed nightly, digging 30 meters below the surface. The actual building work began in April 1994. It wasn't until three years later, in March 1996, that the iconic spires of Tower 1 and Tower 2 were completed. By January 1997, the towers were ready for their first occupants. These twin marvels were officially inaugurated on August 31, 1999, by Malaysia's Prime Minister Tun Dr. Mahatha bin Mohammed. Interestingly, the tower's construction site posed a unique challenge. It was on the brink of a cliff, with one half resting on decayed limestone and the other on soft rock. To make the site stable, it had to be shifted 61 meters. As a result, these towers stand on the world's deepest foundations, supported by 104 concrete piles 
some as deep as 114 meters. The massive concrete raft foundation, an astonishing 4.6 meters thick and weighing 32,500 tons, held the world record for the largest continuous concrete pour until 2007. The foundations were completed within a year with immense quantities of concrete, a testament to the incredible engineering behind these iconic towers. To meet the Malaysian government's strict six-year deadline, they employed two construction teams, one for each tower, to build the incredible Petronas Towers. The West Tower, Tower 1, was crafted by a Japanese consortium led by the Hazama Corporation, while the East Tower, Tower 2, was in the capable hands of a South Korean consortium led by the Samsung Sinem T Corporation. Early in the construction, a hiccup occurred when a batch of concrete didn't pass its strength test, bringing work to a temporary standstill. To avoid future disruptions, each new batch of concrete underwent rigorous testing. In fact, they set up three concrete plants on site to ensure a constant supply, so if one batch was faulty, the other two could keep the work going. Interestingly, Tower 2, constructed by Samsung CNMT, managed to snatch the title of the world's tallest building at the time. Now here's the engineering marvel. Instead of importing expensive steel, the towers were built using high-strength reinforced concrete. While this made the towers heavier, it was a cost-effective solution. The structural system was brilliantly designed using substantial 23 by 23 meter concrete cores and strategically placed super columns. This allowed for a whopping 560,000 square meters of office space without those pesky columns getting in the way. Underneath these towering marvels, you'll find Surya KLCC, a bustling shopping mall, and the Petronas Philharmonic Hall, the enchanting home of the Malaysian Philharmonic Orchestra adding to the allure of this iconic architectural duo. Back in 1999, daredevil Felix Baumgartner set a world record for base jumping, leaping off a window cleaning crane attached to the towers. However, this record has since been broken. In the wake of the tragic September 11 attacks on the World Trade Center in New York City, a bomb threat in 2001 caused the evacuation of thousands of people from the Petronas Towers. While bomb disposal teams found no explosives, the precaution was taken seriously and everyone was allowed to return unharmed a few hours later. A fire broke out in the cinema complex of the Surya KLCC shopping center beneath the towers in 2005, causing a moment of panic among moviegoers. Fortunately, no injuries were reported as the buildings were mostly empty at that late hour. Then, in a feat of sheer audacity, the Spider-Man of urban climbing, Alain Robert, made headlines by scaling Tower 2 of the Petronas Towers with nothing but his bare hands and feet without any safety equipment. This remarkable ascent took him just under two hours, a stark contrast to his previous attempts that ended in arrest. At the foot of the stunning Petronas Towers in Malaysia stands the Surya KLCC, a massive retail wonderland spread across a whopping 140,000 square meters. It's not just any shopping hub, it's a paradise for luxury enthusiasts housing an impressive array of foreign high-end brands and popular street labels. Step inside and you'll find yourself immersed in a world of top-notch shopping with about 300 stores vying for your attention. But Surya KLCC isn't just about shopping, it's an experience in itself. The mall proudly showcases Malaysia's cultural diversity, bedecking its entrances and the center court with vibrant decorations during festive seasons. It's a celebration of the country's rich heritage, welcoming visitors from all corners of the globe. Adjacent to this retail marvel lies the Petronas Philharmonic Hall, perfectly complementing the shopping extravaganza 
with a touch of high-class cultural entertainment. The hallmark of the towers, however, remains the breathtaking double-decker sky bridge perched on the 41st and 42nd floors. This engineering marvel not only offers a panoramic view, but also plays a crucial role in stabilizing the towers during windy days, showcasing the pinnacle of architectural ingenuity. If you're planning a visit, remember that access to the sky bridge is a hot commodity. Limited to about 1,000 people per day, half the tickets can be snagged online, while the other half are up for grabs on a first-come, first-served basis. You can choose between a simple sky bridge visit or an exhilarating journey all the way up to the 86th level, basking in the marvel of human achievement. Would you like to visit there? If yes, then do let us know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, do give it a big thumbs up. For more such amazing videos, do subscribe to our channel.